G'day tankers and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm your host Sturmjäger21 and today I'm bringing you my first um, tier 10 battle that's been featured on my channel and that is the M48 Patton. Um, this is my first tier 10 that I've ever um, gain, I've actually earned in this game and I've since researching this I've also researched the um, IS-7 um, this game is in particular a pretty awesome game for me because it is the highest damage I've ever done in a World of Tanks game. And uh, you'll see you'll see how I play the pattern and uh, how I utilize its strengths shortly. So we're on Cyrene Village, um, also known as the Canada map, I believe. In the uh, what do you call it? The code? I believe it's called the Canada map. Um, and we are going um, onto the into A1 where you can snipe from there using the really good gun depression of the pattern. The pattern's a nice tank. Um, being my first tier tank, I don't know what else to think about other tier tens. Um, I'm guessing from what I've read about this tank and how it plays, it's actually fairly mediocre. Like it's a nice, it's a really nice, comfortable tank to play, and I fe th feel that it suits my playstyle and it's probably a, a nice easy tank to get into a tier 10 match with. Um, it's not a good tank by far, it's, it's okay no, no, no that's, not, that's not quite true. It is, a, it is a good tank. As you can see we've got a nice hit on the um, on the M103 there. Going through the top is Capola. Didn't quite get the Capola at the KV4, we um, clipped it just a little bit. And a little bit of lag there kind of stuffed us up, though we didn't do any damage to the IS-7, which was very lucky indeed. So I'm going to pop up again and try and take another shot. Now what was I saying? Oh yeah, this, this tank's not bad, it's actually quite quite good, I, I like it. it the, the the gun handling is... It, there's, no, there's, no, there's nothing um, that compares to, it's just... The, there's no gun bloom almost, it's just nice and fun to play. And the gun, the gun is actually quite good as well, like the, the penetration, you don't really need to fire the heat rounds that it comes with, although I do carry 12 just in case I see a mouse or a G100. We'll put, it's also really accurate, it's like 0.36 accuracy, which is really good for in the grand scheme of things. As you see, I can put really accurate fire into the M103, and I've already just taken my first hit. And we've done 1500 damage. And we've just taken out the M103, although we did take another hit from the uh, KV4. So, we're now going to try and take out this KV4, because he's the next biggest threat to our team. Had a nice no damage penetration on us, I'd say. He hit us um, in our um, mandalot. And we take him out with a nice shot to the Capola. T32, he's our next victim. So we put, another shot, we put a shot into him. Bit of a low roll, 370. But can't really complain because the uh, reload on this is very good. Although, for some reason, it's. Um, that shot missed for some reason. I think it's because we moved and changed the mouse around a bit. There we go, a nice average roll, 391. Just put out a hit from the uh, T32. Another thing to mention is the um, the gun on this is is quite good, but the armor is not very good at all. The um, the gun mantlet is barely covers half the tank, so it's sort of opposite to what a lot of American tanks seem to have is a big gun mantlet. I don't know what I was doing here. It is actually two o'clock in the morning when I actually played this game, and it's about two thirty when I decided to record this. Um, and I don't really know what I'm doing here, I'm doing some pretty stupid shit right now. Take out the M46 pattern. Do you see how um, how easy it was just to snapshot that gun? Because we just literally turned our turret and far out fired. That's how really good the gun handling is. There's pretty much no issues when changing target or anything like that. So this is a good tank to sort of snapshot in. And um, some snapshot's something I'm reasonably good at. Now I'm not saying I'm great at it, but... It's um, something I tend to do better than uh, some other things. Take another shot on that 
T four T forty nine T sixty nine. Put another shot to him. A couple of low rolls actually. And someone takes him out. So we've, we've got three kills now and 4,299 damage. That which is um, quite a good game for me, especially um, in really early in the morning. And we've uh, had a little bit to drink. So I like to be merry sometimes when I, drink, when I play <laughs> my tanks. So yeah, it's. um. Yeah, there's not much else I can say about the tank. It's got some nice big tracks, which means side scraping is quite viable because the a lot of shots will eat up, be eaten up by the tracks. Oh, look at this shot! This is amazing. Oh wait, that's right. I didn't actually get that kill. <laughs> oh dear. Again, I'm sorry. I'm drink. I've been drinking. And there's something you like to see is a E75 with its face up in the air, so I can put a nice round through its lower plate. Again, I don't know what I'm, gonna do, what I'm ending up to do here. I end up doing it going the wrong way. I should have gone right instead of left here. So I would have been able to get a shot on the um, object. But it doesn't matter. So yeah, we're up to 4,708. Again, don't tank while drunk. Well, I wasn't really. I'm not really drunk. I've just had a couple, and I'm a bit happy. Also, also my comment at the beginning was uh, MM being drunk. Um, they gave us two, three tier tens. They gave them two tier tens. One of them being an arty, and another one being a tank destroyer. But we got a heavy and a medium and an arty, a tier ten. And that's just a bit odd. I mean, uh, why couldn't we've been the? I was in this. I was. I was waiting for a game for two minutes, and that wasn't much of a much of an issue for me. Um, I would have been having to wait five minutes if there'd been a couple more tier tens um, for them. So it kind of felt. It kind of felt like a hollow victory because um, they. Had, we also had more tier nines. But anyway, this is pretty much wrapping up the game. Um, basically, uh, you'll see in a minute. The IS-8 and the um, T-34 pretty much just camped the whole whole match. And yes, the T-34 is um, pretty much pretty much about to be done. It, it's the it's the gun. It is a really nice gun. Just to reload, it's only about, um, it was about just over, I think it's just over 8 seconds the reload. And, um, actually, no, I don't think I'm quite right. Unfortunately, the time is off on the um, model I'm running with this replay. It's actually quite good in live. I actually don't know what the mod is. I've forgotten completely. And that's the end of the game. And uh, we've done 6,200. And 25 damage, or have we? So um, let's uh, go to the post-game stats and see how we did. And as you can see, that was a mastery game in the uh, M48A1 pattern. Um, we got a bunch of ribbons, no special medals or anything like that. Um, we've got Fire Effect, Fighter, Master Gunner, Duelist, Hand of God, and Bruiser, and. We made 60,000 credits with a 3,519 XP. So, yeah, with, with I'm not running premium at the moment, so that was a profit of 14,193. Uh, this was a times three, so we got a nice uh, chunk of XP there. Um, we hit 33 out of 37 shots, which is, sorry, 23 out of 27 shots. So that's pretty good. Um, only for those missed, and we got 663 spotting damage. Although the damage we actually caused to the enemy team was 600, sorry, oh boy, 6,641, which is really awesome. Um, I've, only ha I've only had about 30 or 40 games in this um, M48 pattern. Um, as you can see, we came top of our team. Um, base XP was 1,173, which is. Uh, Amazing for tier 10. This is probably one of the best tier 10 battles I've ever had. 
um, mainly because this is the only tier 10 I currently own. Um, I have uh, 7 research but not purchased yet because I have no money because I'm poor. I'm a poor scrub. Um, shout out to the i7 R team, the other tier 10 and the Arthi R team. All three tier 10s came top of the team which you'd expect in a tier 10 match. On the enemy team, like the object 263, um, one of the tanks I was really worried about and the RT did very well as well. Um, don't know what this guy was doing all game and I don't know what he was doing all game because they were both camping at the back near the, their base. CXC got unlucky, I mean he, in most of the new tier 8 premiums are all now um, normal MM so they don't have sheltered MM so they don't get the uh, uh, we don't see tier 10's bonus that some other tier 8 premiums have but oh well. Um, and he's on report as I said shots fired 39 were hits and 19 penetrated. Um, damage was 6,641, very good. Um, got, how many kills did we get? I can't remember. Actually it says over here, 4 kills, that's really awesome. Um, damage 8 of the enemy team and half of those were, was ones we killed as well. And uh, yeah, not bad game at all in a tier 10. So. Um, I'll leave you at that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.